this is zinc and the daily chart now here we have seen zinc is running in a downtrend according to the moving average cross alert in a large time frame but if you want to see in a small time frame uh, or you can say medium term uh, time frame zinc is running in an uptrend right why because 20 moving average uh, above 50 moving average that is why we can say zinc is running in a medium term uh, time frame it is running in an uptrend but daily time frame if you want to see 50 moving average are running below 150 moving average still instead of price we have seen broke this 200 moving average but uh, according the moving average crossover daily chart price is running in a downtrend right this is called correction so and here we have seen 200 moving average more above in this area so that is why i want to connect here this is simple okay and this dot dot and around 197.55 there is a resistance line okay now if you not see in a four hour chart we have seen price is creating higher high and a higher low have you seen they are running in a uptrend in a four hour and a daily it is running in a downtrend in a downtrend uh, in a daily chart we have seen this is a correction level up to 197 so that means what i'm going to talk the daily chart price is running like downtrend creating higher uh, sorry lower low lower high lower low lower high like that and uh, somewhere we have seen this area right now in a daily chart they are giving a correction like that and here we have seen a resistance level that means i'm talking about this line all right clear so let's check it in a four hour chart how it look like that in a four hour chart we have seen they are creating a uh, sorry higher high and higher low so we can see from after uh, bottoming this level price create new high retrace high retrace high retrace high and a retrace and creating high now when you see here price are re uh, respecting moving average 20 have you seen uh, that means First, they, uh, they are respecting moving average 100 from this year uh, area. Price just bounce, retrace, bounce, retrace, bounce. Now, recently we have seen they are respecting moving average 20. That one exponential 20. Bounce, retrace, bounce. Now, who people trying to buy here? That is, that is why people are doing big mistake, remember. And they are entering buy in this area and price drop down toward this area because most of the people I have seen they are buying in the top and selling in the bottom that is big cons uh, big mistake by a new trader right uh, when price are dropping down they are thinking price is running in a downtrend and start selling in this area and after that price just bouncing from this area so they are according to their psychology they are thinking somebody are watching my market when i uh, bought market drop down when i sold here price gone up remember nobody are watching your market this is uh, like a, a, it is a wrong analysis right because when you have seen prices dropping down you are thinking hey price just are running in a downtrend let's uh, sell it that is a big mistake because most of the people are only watching the uh, small time frame in a small time frame it is very difficult to find out the trend let me show you five minute in a five minute we have seen like that price is running in a sideway and running in an uptrend like that here they're creating up high up low like that at that time uh, they are buying in this area and prices dropping down that is why we have to find out some entry point in a large time frame and we must wait to price reach that level now 
what we have seen now. Now we want to connect most uh, like tight support area. What is the most tight support area now? We have seen here this was price rejected from this area drop down, right? So that is why I want to draw a trend line by connecting this point and this point. Why? Because both are respecting, right? Here they are uh, bouncing from this area. So in that case, I want to draw a horizontal line. I drawn. Have you seen? Now most of the people are thinking here, uh, I just drawn here, but moving ever is a little more above. Why I not drawn here? So if you want to see the previous market behavior, they broke a little more. This is called fact backup. They are respecting someone like 28, 29, 30 moving average also. So we are not going to change here also breakout. So they might give a breakout a little more somewhere by using previous analysis. Or you can use a trend line by connecting <coughs> this uh, point right here. We are just we trying to connect more touches point here. Have you seen? Now this is called our buy zone, this area, right? So price might reverse toward this area in this area. So this area called confluence zone, right? This is buy opportunity. We have seen one buy opportunity for today, right? And you can see here sometime what happened price doing continue. So that is called breakout trading strategy so that is why we have seen this is higher point so let me draw another line here by connecting previous higher point so we have seen uh, two buy opportunity here one above 195 and another one above 191 right this is zone a uh, one opportunity buy here in this area this is buy opportunity and another buy opportunity in between this area we are never gonna attack so most of the people are right now they might be thinking here can i sort here uh, remember one thing don't trade uh, against the trend right because we're gonna sort in this area because this is the last point of retracement. Why? Because daily is running in an uptrend. Let me tell you. Sorry, daily is running in a downtrend, and a retracement point, last point is showing like that here. And we can sort here daily, not now in this area. All right? Price is running somewhere here. And our retracement level is there. That means this line, right? We can sell it here, not in this area, but might be reversed toward this area. Leave it. Don't go against the trend, right? Because they broke this line is called somewhere here. Uh, this line is called um, strong support, right? That is why we are looking for buy, not sell. For the sell, we must wait to this level. So let uh, jump to 15 minute chart. How it look like that? Now 15 minute chart, it should look like that. Most of the people are thinking, can I sell it here? Because here was a resistance level, right? Not exactly this is a resistance level. This is a higher point. If price continue toward this level, so we will start buying above or another. We are looking for buy in this area to buy no sell opportunity we have seen the sell opportunity are above this level here right sell opportunity are looking for in this area and we are looking for buy above and buy above right this is our buy zone all right so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching